Hello everyone, this is Jeffrey Whetstone and I'm going to be presenting our team Scrum Project Plan. Um, our team consists of me, Jimmy Dutton, Richard Bell, and Daniel Hernandez. Our quality plan results for this project is to develop a photography website using materials gathered from the previous project. To gain insight um, from the customer on updates or changes that they're wanting to make to the design of the website, um, our plan is to complete the project within four weeks and to gain the customer approval on the final project. Um, those are our goals and our quality plan um, results for the project. The scope of the project um, is, is going to be fairly simple. There's going to be a home page and then four sub pages for, um, for content for, um, and then for like a display page of all the different photos and a contact page. Um, the, the color scheme of the website is going to be gray, light blue, and peach. Um, there are going to be four people, there are four people on our team um, with a wide range skill set of, um, of things that we're capable of doing and um, it will need to be completed in four weeks as, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is the wireframe that we're going to build the website off of um, on the on the main page. Uh, so I'll have the logo, the title. Um, it'll be a pretty straightforward website um, with images displayed to um, showcase the photographer's skills. The time requirements on this project, um, it will be broken into four weeks, and so there's never going to be more than a few days to complete each task. Um, so we have a project diagram and a variance report that shows um, how this breakdown of time is going to be organized. So for our project diagram, um, that we have our task codes, and then each day um, or each each task is divided up. So we have a scrum review, um, then we're going to work on building the main page, and then the about page, contact page, pricing page, and gallery page, and then um, we're going to test all the pages and review the functions and then we're going to present that project to the client at the end. So here we have our variance report. So um, our goal for each of these tasks is no more than two days. And so getting all these three days for task B. Um, so getting all of these completed and then recording them here on our variance report so that we're making sure we're on task and that we're not straying from our project plan um, will be very crucial for this project. Our cost plan, um, here we have all of the, um, everything that we're gonna be needing for this project cost-wise. Um, so we've already completed the design um, portion of it. And so from here, we're gonna be doing the website build through documentation. Um, and so, the cost um, of the project, in theory, would be around $3,500 um, to completely, um, from bottom up, to start to, to complete this project. Um, so for human resources, we, the human resources exist um, to benefit everyone that's involved, and it's, um, they're, they're responsible for, for controlling the, um, the talent and the, um, the human resource plan for this project that we have is we have our team roles, authority, responsibilities, and competencies. So the team roles that we have, um, Richard Bell is going to be the web designer, Ginny Dutton is the scrum expert and team leader, um, myself, I'm the developer, web developer and analyst, and then Daniel is the web designer and tester. Our authority consists of Brother Parsons, our teacher, and our classmates, you guys. And then the responsibilities um, are to each other, to our clients, and to our shareholders. Um, these people are very important, and they're going to be a big part of our project. And then the competencies, um, we have our education, web development, design, and experience in building the websites. Um, our, for communication, we plan on using one main method. And we plan on using Google Hangouts so that we can chat and then meet um, in video conferences. And then we'll be using Google Drive 
in order to share our work and to, to file share those, um, anything that we're working on throughout the project. Some risks that we have that are involved are, um, that we're a little bit concerned about are time. So the time scope is short, and it's possible we won't have enough time to finish it, but, and the, the time, the day constraints for completing each task is short, but um, if we stay on track, then we'll be able to overcome that risk. Uh, money will be, if, um, if, the, if the cost of the website is worth what it takes to build it, um, or if, if the benefit of the website is what it takes, what it outweighs the cost to build the website. Um, so if, if it's going to be worthwhile for the, for the customer to have that website and the income for them um, to benefit the cost of the website. And then the resources, um, we want to make sure that we'll be able to gather all the resources necessary because of our time constraints. Um, so if there are any resources that we struggle getting, it might, um, it might make the, our time constraints harder um, if there aren't any, if there are some resources that are more difficult to obtain. The integration, so we're going to be using Scrum, Scrum methodology. Um, so Scrum methodology is a great way to, to use uh, or to, to manage a project. Um, it's defined as a flexible um, holistic product development strategy or development team works as a unit to reach a common goal, challenges assumptions of the traditional sequential approach to product development, and enables team teams that are self-organized by encouraging physical co-location co -location or close online collaboration of all team members, as well as daily face-to-face -face communication among all team members and disciplines in the project. So for our conclusion, um, we're excited to start this project because um, we're excited to see what we're able to complete as a team, and it's going to test our project management skills and then teach us what we're looking to learn um, through this through this project and in this class. Um, the Scrum methodology is a great method to use for this project and it will assist us to, to complete each section, each task um, in an organized manner and to, to, to meet often and frequently in order to discuss the progress and to complete the tasks. Um, that's it for the presentation. Thanks for watching.